Hello everyone. So today I decided to do a voiceover to myself changing Rico. Yeah, so how has my journey been in this reborn hobby? Um, I'm just walking outside while I'm talking because I have um, other people in the house, but I wanted to talk freely uh, without any interruptions. So I wanted to talk about how my journey has been um learning the whole process of painting and of uh, uh painting and collecting because it's a right and a wrong way to collect uh for the first four years uh i only had my own work in my collection um that was because i didn't want to spend any you know, money at first, because I really didn't know what I liked. At first, I was like, well, I only want to collect babies that are 21 to 23 inches long and kind of a chubby baby. That was my mindset in the beginning. When I first started out, I had my Libby kit, which was my, actually my second reborn that I painted, which was Chloe, that was her name, um, since then, Chloe's, uh, I don't have Chloe anymore, um, but, um, so, uh, I didn't know what I wanted to collect, so I just said I'd paint my own, so, as time went on, I painted a few more, I got a few more reborns, um, I got a little better, not too much. By this time, I had just been watching tutorials um, on how to paint reborns, but I hadn't spent any money on or invested in myself other than buying the materials. Uh, like once I got paid, I bought, I bought a little more secondhand New Wave oven, which is still the oven that I use to, to this day. Um, and like I started out with the Bountiful Baby um, starter kit and then I just added you know what I saw that I needed along the way so uh, like I said I painted a little more and then I went to then I went to um Selling the reborns that I was painting for like mad cheap, y'all. I mean, like $100, $100, $150 because I just wanted just to see if people would be interested. In it. And of course, it was not the best reborn, but I did have a passion for rooting. So, um,. Once I saw that, I just kept going. Then it was a period of time. At this time, I was still working um, a public job. And by this time, I had um, maybe sold maybe uh, five or six dolls. And so, and I was still working. So I decided just to continue on, on painting. But there was a, a phase, a long span of time. Why, when I didn't, I had like two or three dollars on my table, and I mean, I, I would go months without painting, months without changing my, my dolls, um, or doll at the time because I only had that one Chloe that I was keeping. So, uh, so then I stopped working my public job and I just began to help my husband with his business and I just began painting and homeschooling my daughter, my youngest daughter. And so that brings me up to my current time now where I just really dedicated myself um, time to invest in what I was trying to do and trying to better my painting skills um by doing that i did purchase um in some i invested in like some painting classes and i invested in some painting classes and 
and even I purchased a couple silicone um, kits to try to start painting and from there I uh, purchased um, some dolls that was painted by some other people and just really trying to invest in myself that brings me to my current state which is like was it has all this investment and time and dedication and money been worth it um i find myself more so enjoying um painting right now and i'm finding myself enjoying painting now um and watching videos more than changing my dolls and interacting with my dolls which is fine but i really um you know, I, really, I want to go back to that, but I have I have had my first silicone um, doll posted, which it was the Henry Kid by Jamie Lynn Art Dolls. It was a solo out edition, um, and she makes really good silicone um, where it's not translucent and it's not. I mean, which I think I did fairly well with painting him, but he's really he's a small preemie size so I decided I wouldn't keep him um and I got some other kits in so I was like well let me see if I can get at least just what I paid for the kit itself um back you know as a return off him which I hadn't been able to sell him which a lady really wanted him and she never did pay so I posted him back up which he hadn't sold but that's fine because you know it is what it is about that but so I was like has it been worth it in this reborn community and I find it easier to sell to people outside of the YouTube circle um, because it's not like such a uh, stigma with how the you know you gotta be purchasing from this person or this person in order to be able to just to get views to show your video on YouTube so then I asked myself has it is it worth it you know trying to promote myself on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook so that's really what you know I'm questioning myself about now you know, should I just focus on people on the outside of the community that, that really just have a passion just for cute and beautiful dolls that they can, cute and beautiful dolls that they can cherish and have, you know, um, and enjoy. Um, it's being on social media worth it. It's being on YouTube worth it. Um, so... I've come 